Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. If you have seen my other Sir Clash videos and you're back, thanks for coming back. This one, I'm going to go more into detail of how the actual procedure went. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching and we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to be talking about the Sir Clash when it comes to the planning, the actual surgery, the pain and the recovery. And this is just my personal experience. So I don't know how all Sir Clodges go, but we've seen like my last videos, I was potentially high risk because um, during my first pregnancy, I had a short cervix and they stitched me up with the Sir Clodge at 18 weeks. This time with my second pregnancy, they already thought that I would be high risk. So they had me go see a high risk doctor at 10 weeks. And then I ended up getting the Sir Clodge at 14 weeks. And it was an option I was given because my cervix wasn't short yet. I went ahead and chose to get the cerclage just for extra protection, just in case my cervix shortened. Because the last time we weren't, nobody knows when my cervix actually shortened. So I just wanted to be safe and um, cautious and just take the best preventive preventative measures to prevent preterm labor. So I went ahead, like I said, I went ahead and did the surgery, even though they said I didn't have to. I went into surgery at 14 weeks. I was taken to labor and delivery floor where they prepped me. Um, they gave me some medicine. I am horrible at remembering that stuff, so I cannot even tell you like what they gave me, but it wasn't like any strong medication. I felt like it was just like some hospital Motrin, like that's it i think they gave me like a muscle relaxer yeah so that's what they did to like prep me for the surgery they rolled me to the delivery room and it was actually the same room that i had my c-section in when i had my first baby they gave me an epidural um so this is actually like my fourth epidural no, 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 I'm lying. This is my third, but when I give birth, it will be my fourth epidural. Um, Cause I got two just because I got the cerclage, the first cerclage and then this one. So they gave me the epidural, they stuck the needle on my back and then they waited for my waist down level to go numb. They kept poking me with like a needle, like, can you feel this, can you feel this? And I was like super nervous for some reason. I'm like, yes, I can feel this, like, re hold on <laughs> so after about like i want to say like 10 to 15 minutes i did end up going completely numb so yes they keep you awake during this procedure and for some reason i was like stressed out compared to the last time i did this procedure i don't know like what was different it was just i was stressed i wasn't stressed going in but like once i got in there i'm like oh my god this is happening so they ended up putting um, my legs in stirrups they hooked me up to oxygen and obviously like when you're under anesthesia they monitor your heart rate and oxygen levels so they were doing all that while this was happening so while they were doing the procedure I couldn't feel any pain I could feel a whole bunch of pressure though like I feel like I felt pulling like all in my like lower abdomen my vagina it was very uncomfortable like uncomfortable for me I would give it like an 8 out of 10 um yeah and then they had these lights like obviously shining down so the doctors could see what they were doing and it had like mirrors in between so i'm like literally watching them do their surgery on me and pulling strings and i was stressed out like it was not like the last one at all i want to say the procedure probably took about 30 to 45 minutes i really can't tell you an exact time um but yeah i, I could see blood <laughs> I don't want to scare you, but I'm just telling you like what what was happening because it really isn't a painful procedure. So yeah, I was just stressed. I don't know. They brought me back to the room and they gave me some like more mild pain medication. Um, and I think they gave me like another muscle relaxer, but I didn't have any pain after directly after the surgery. I was still completely numb. So I wasn't able to walk. I wasn't able to do anything yet. So I just had to wait until the numbness went off. They told me um, before I could leave. I could leave that same day, but they told me before I leave, I had to use the bathroom and be able to walk to the bathroom. So one time I tried walking and I'm like, oh, I'm not ready. We waited like a half hour longer. I was able to walk and use the bathroom. So I ended up going home and everything was pretty normal. I did have like a little spotting, like nothing crazy. Kind of like the last the very last day of your period it wasn't um anything that i should have been concerned about but they do like make sure 
um, to let you know that if you do have heavy bleeding or pain to um, let them know right away because it could be a sign so let them know by the next morning everything was normal everything um felt normal i was in zero pain i don't i don't even understand like how they stitched me and i didn't and i'm not any any pain like that is so weird to me i really should have asked the doctors that or i wonder if i could look that up i'm not sure because that is so weird like why wouldn't i have i have any pain after i just got stitches in my cervix doesn't make sense but that is all for my experience during that like i said um everyone's gonna go through something different and feel something different but i am thankful that i didn't have the scare like last time i thought my water broke so i didn't have any scares this time everything went pretty smooth and i appreciate the doctors that did that and tried to make me as comfortable as possible it's not like a big procedure so that's the good thing about it you don't have to worry about pain after or yeah easy procedure right now currently i am 26 weeks and i'm at home last time when i was 26 weeks i was in the hospital on bed rest so um i'm thankful to be able to even make it this far and experience this pregnancy at home with my family because last time i was not due to my water breaking so if you guys want to see more pregnancy videos or pregnancy updates just let me know in the comments i will be doing a birthing video i decided to go with another c-section because i'm scary but i am due september 18th so i believe you have to plan a c-section like a week or two before so around that time i'm super excited for my second baby we already have the name picked out and everything we we know what it is i will be surprising you guys and thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will be posting new videos i'm trying to be more consistent work with me but thanks to those of you that are coming back and supporting me and i will see you guys next time